Hey guys, welcome to TS Tactical. Today we're going to be showing you how to pick a combination or a multi-dial combination padlock from Masterlock using this simple piece of steel. Um, this is very similar to a product that we've shown before called the Quick Stick, uh, but this is its uh, very thin cousin. So we're going to be showing how to use this to open this lock in a matter of seconds. And, and uh, this is also a bypass technique too. It's not technically picking the lock, we're actually going to bypass the, the locking mechanism completely. And we'll show that close up in just a second. Okay guys, so what we have here is a, a Master Lock 175 and this is a common combination lock that's available probably from your hardware store. But what we've got is a cutaway version so you can see what's going on in the lock and we can actually show what this easy decoder is doing. So you can see as I rotate this just how thin that piece of steel is. And it's, it's super thin and for a good reason. It actually fits between these combination dials and we're going to be showing how to do that. But first I want to kind of explain the lock mechanism itself. Um, these can also um, with practice be defeated with just a, a common hook tool too, um, just wedging it under the dial. But for the purpose of this video we're going to actually be showing how the easy decoder um, works specifically with these because it makes it much easier you don't run the risk of actually getting these combination dials out of line um, and you know ruining your lock at the same time. So that can happen sometimes when you're playing with one of these hooks uh, to open it in that method. You can ruin the dials and I've done that before. Um, so rendered some of my practice locks unusable because of that. So the lock mechanism in this, and I'm going to reset this with all zeros to show the correct combo, just to show you that that is the combo to open this. So let me go to all zeros here, which I can verify there. Hopefully you can see that. But So zeros is the combo to open this up. And what that does, I'll have to lock this back just so it stays. But what's happening when you enter the correct combo is it's actually releasing this bar right here. So this this gold bar area there is actually getting released when you enter in the correct combination. So if I push this shackle down at the same time I'm lifting up here, you'll be able to see this bar move if you pay attention and watch carefully. So you can see that that's actually moving up and down. So that's the motion we're trying to replicate to bypass this. We're actually going to insert that easy decoder into the keyway here and the location to insert this is between the second and third dial. So this little entrance right here. So if you're looking at the third combination dial from the left, from your left here as you're looking, it's going to go to the left of that third dial. So I'll demonstrate here. Again, this is locked. I'm just going to rotate the combo just to make certain that we don't have the correct combo in there just to demonstrate this completely. Um, so as we're putting this in, it's going to go bevel side down. And again, it's going to go right there between the second and the third dial. Hopefully you can see exactly where that's being presented there. So the trick to this is to actually depress the shackle at the same time you're providing the correct movement with the easy decoder. And what that movement looks like is just pushing down. So in, in essence, as you push down, you can look what's happening to the, the front part here of the easy decoder and that's actually going to be pressing up on that gold bar that I was mentioning earlier that you're going to need to depress. So we'll go ahead and insert this all the way. And what you want to feel for here is that this is all the way in and touching the back of the lock and you'll kind of feel a touch of the lock. It's going to be hard for you to probably see where this is this is that, but you can see how much left is, is actually sticking out there. Um, so again, I'm just going to be pressing down this way with the easy decoder at the same time I'm pressing the shackle. So there we go. That's how easy it is with the easy decoder. Yeah, ironic, right? So again, this is uh, both a, a lock that's locked at the toe and the heel. You can see the cutout grooves here. So. Um, this is something that could be shimmed, um, but more than likely this easy decoder is going to be a whole lot easier for you to, to work with because there's no, you won't have to do the dual shims and not have to worry about anything like that. So um, again, 
one more time. What's great about this too is you can leave it in there and even though it's locked, you can open it right back up again and I can basically do that all day long. So you can leave this in the lock if you forget the key and just continue locking it and unlocking it all day long. So hope you enjoyed the, uh, the brief walkthrough here of the easy decoder and how uh, non-secure these security padlocks really are from, from Master Lock. And again, these are the 175s if you want to pick these up to, to practice with. Um, these are going to be offered in a two-pack, and they are available on itstactical.com forward slash store. So check them out if you're interested. Thanks for watching.